You have a small No. Oh, okay. What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pillow Talk. Today I have, um, you know, a special guest. And you know the movie Hustlers just came out. So I was just trying to go on that theme. And introducing to you is the best stripper in New York City. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Anthony Rodriguez. Uh, my performer name is Romeo. And uh, my Instagram is the finest Romeo, since I am the finest for all the ladies, you know. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay. And yes, you're right, the number one stripper in all of New York City. We're gonna put the book and information on the bottom. Anyways. Perfect. Um, so, why don't you tell me how you got into the business? I was in college and I basically needed some cash and I was helping my mom with uh, bills but she was like, oh, I need more money, I need more money. And you know, one of my friends is like, yo, what are you stressed out about? I'm like, yo, I'm tired of doing work study. And he's like, yo, why don't you become a stripper? I was like, I can't do that shit. And then he was like, Why, because you were ugly? Nah, I was never ugly. I never had a problem with women. Okay. Let's, get, let's get that Dang. straight. You know, I, I'm not a dancer, I'm not a trained dancer. So he said, um, yo, look at, look at you. You're tall, you look good, like, what the f so I was just like, all right, let's try it. So he had referred me to a place where I work now called Hunkamania. Mm -hmm. So I went down there and then the first day uh, I'm looking for the owner and they kept giving me the runaround. So then the guy actually comes, we wait and basically he lines us up and we all took our shirts off and he's like- Did you have a six pack yet? Nah, and he left like two of us. Okay. And he was, he told me just work, like get tighter. And I was like, all right, cool. And then from there, I was have been like, 21, 22, and that's when I started. How old are you now? 30, I just turned 30. Congrats! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Dirty 30. It was very dirty. <laughs> very dirty. So you got into the business. Um, so are you single? Or are you dating? I'm dating. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I found a special somebody. Okay, tell us. Like, it's kind, of, it's kind of tough when you, when you, uh, when you're a stripper. A lot of women just see you as like, oh, you a stripper, and they want to put you as like the one night stand. How did you guys meet? I met her dancing. We love the club. That was one of my questions. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know it was gonna happen. I just thought she was hot. Like, yo, this girl's hot. Yeah. And you know, she, I was like persuading her, trying to pursue her, and she took a long time. I was like, damn, she really feeling me. But she was actually like intimidated by me. And then you know we talking, and that's my lady. All right. I how tried. Long, how long have y'all been talking? Since March, so okay. but the feelings are deep, yeah. Like, you know, when you're a stripper, you know, you don't have so many vaginas, you know, they're like, nah, that's the good vagina, right? This, the I like this one. Oh, <laughs> this, oh this ain't like the other ones, you know. Do you think strip the word stripper is like derogatory? <laughs> yes, so what do you like to be called? Entertainer, male entertainer, because that's what I'm doing. I'm entertaining, I'm doing a performance, I'm doing a job. I like entertainer because it, it just makes us more professional. Because I've done stuff like I've been on Real Housewives, I've been on uh, Jerry Springer, I've been on Matt Vieira, I've been on all these stuff. And you are an entertainer. The same way you make your money, I make, you know, I make. It's a job. Money. Yeah. Do you think you're attractive? On a scale of one to ten. I don't want to sound too cocky. <laughs> no, but. Woody. No, I, I think I think I'm a ten, but it, it came like from years. Like a lot of the stuff that I have and like how I feel about myself, it's more of the girls that reassured it to me. Like that's true. I've I've lately been dating guys, and like they made me feel like I'm a ten. Exactly. Okay. Also, uh, Magic Mike, the movie, obviously. Um, they use a little d pump before they go on stage. So, true or not? It is true. I don't. I need to get one. I've been I've been holding out on it. The whole thing for the pump is okay. when you put the pump on. It makes it hard. Exactly. It makes um. the blood go into the the tissue. Basically, before you get ready for it, I'm gonna give you some some insight. When I first started, I was like, damn, I can't do that. I can't do what these guys are doing. Or how the hell they tie themselves up, whatever. And so I used to dance with white white guys and black guys, different circuits. So one time I'm dancing for the white, uh, white girls, but some black girls showed up. Okay. And I didn't like tie my thing up, and anybody that knows, when you're not excited, it's a little, you know, small. So one of the girls looks at me and she goes, and so is her friend, and I was just like, nah, from this day on, everybody's gonna know that yeah, I got a hammer, and we're gonna do whatever <laughs> it has to do. Get like, a hammer, I, I, shut I, up. I, I wanna make sure everybody's scared when they see it. I want them to be like, oh my God, is that real? 
real scared. <laughs> we'll give you all the stripper details. I know. Um, and then what are any like other tips and tricks like that they kind of tell you like backstage? Oh, there is a tip. <laughs> Everything is slow. You want to always do something like in slow motion. When Not you do, fast. When you do something fast, it has to be to the beat of something fast. That's the trip that, a trick that I use. Everything slow, like all your movements make you like sexual and slow. Cause then you, the woman gets to appreciate it more. So slow is the way to go. Slow is the way to go. Okay. Okay. So has your family seen you strip before? Yes, my, everybody knows. I'm, I'm a very truthful person. Your everybody. Mom? Yeah. She's seen you? She's my biggest supporter. <laughs> She's Chris Jenner. She's like, you're doing great, sweetie. My baby boy right there. You smack him with the d yeah. yeah. Oh, do you think strippers have better sex? Oh, hell yeah. Why? Because you know how to put it down. Do you sleep with your clients? No. Like, okay. Nope. I'm gonna sleep with it. It's strictly business. It's not. How many clients have you slept with? None. I haven't. I'm being honest with you. I haven't slept with any of my clients. Or oh, any clients. Let's get this clear. I don't sleep. Uh, you know, I don't share what I eat, you know. I you haven't slept with anyone. Okay, I'm like, oh, wait, 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 lonely. Huh. No, no. Let me rephrase. Have you slept with anyone you've ever stripped for at the club? Oh yeah. Okay, how many? Yeah, I, I can't remember. I don't remember. I really don't remember. You gotta, you gotta do more to get this, baby. Ain't it? Cheap ho. Yeah, that's what they all. <laughs> Nasty. Um, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you? Most awkward? Mm -hmm. Oh, most awkward is uh, one I had caught a nosebleed, but I didn't bleed. I was like sniffing like if I was sniffing coke. So I went to go do a party in Connecticut and then there's another one where I had to take a shit in the hotel. So, <laughs> so the nose bleed, I'm dancing on the girl and then I start like, I feel like a water drip and I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's cold and there's like blood. I was like, oh So I don't want to make it awkward because if I have a nose bleed, it kills the whole vibe. Yeah. So I just kept like dancing on the girl and sniffing and sniffing. And I thought I had to fart and uh, a little of something else came out and you so sharded? I sharded. <laughs> but it was still like in between my, my glutes and I was like, oh <laughs> So it was like so as a dancer you gotta always have all these cleaning products on you like wet wipes, spray, everything. So I had I, I went in the bathroom, <laughs> flushed it, uh, went in the shower real quick, and then I went and danced for them. You need so, to take a shower for a sharding. All right, this is for the shark. <laughs> um, so the next question is burning. It's a burning question. So basically, it's somebody that writes in, okay. and there's they have a question that they want to ask you. It's just a, another girl from you know the internet. Let's do it. She says, "Who is a female role model you look up to?" Oprah Winfrey, Barbara Co Cochran, Cochran, Barbara. You know that from Shark Tank. Yeah, from Shark Tank. I actually met her. Oh. Yeah, so she nice? Yeah. She, she's mean. She was flirting with me. Okay, so this game is called Guess the Stripper. Okay. So I'm gonna read you some names and you have to guess who the stripper is. Let's do it. Who they used to be. Let's do it. First one. Chris Pratt, Will Smith, Chris Brown. I know Chris Brown was never a stripper. <laughs> I know Will Smith was never a stripper. So we're gonna go with Chris Pratt. He seemed kinda right, crazy. You got that right. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, baby, Chris Pratt, you doing it big, baby? Yeah, Chris Pratt, though, he used to be like chubby. I mean, listen, big guys need, you know, some girls got different fantasies. That's I want you to know that. Same. Okay, second. Ready? Ready. Lizzo, J-Lo, Lady Gaga. That's tough. I'm going to go with Lady Gaga because she's crazy. Damn, dude. what the hell? Yes. Damn. Slow songs, they were pretty ho. I'm Shut a up. I need tempo. <laughs> I know Lady Gaga's crazy. She's into that whole like scene. So I know she probably did some burlesque or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last one. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Johnny Depp. Okay. Brad Pitt. Denzel. Denzel definitely wasn't a stripper. He's too like. Nah, Johnny Depp or Brad Pitt. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I'm gonna go with the crazy side and I'm gonna say Brad Pitt. Johnny Depp look like, you know. The tell the you get all these right! You just know strippers, you know who, who <laughs> got it. Strippers no strippers. Strippers no scrippers, no scrippers. Fuck all, I wanted to get you I lit. I have to drink this. I wanted to get you lit lit. Alright. Alright, right, next game. It's called Make It Rain. 
So here's your ones. Oh sh**. Dang. Be careful because I don't have any money. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna read you one worded, just one words, okay. and you're gonna like if you would do it, then make it rain. Okay. If you wouldn't, you have to take a shot. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Okay, first one. Little booty. What about it? Would you do it or not? Do you like it or not? Yeah. You like it? I love little booty. Little booties matter. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. I'm ready. Three some. Been there. Three some, four some, five some, <laughs> and then some. <laughs> Nasty. I right? mean, hey man, I know what I what I got. Yeah. Porn. I'm gonna take a shot right now. <laughs> Alrighty, last one. Last one. Go to an ex's wedding. I would do that. You, you know? would? I would do it. I'm not I'm not spiteful like that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this is called blind date. Let's do it. With a do-rag, okay. That's all I got. <laughs> Song? Yep, it's on. Like Donkey Kong. Alrighty, so I have three different girls with three different answers, and you're gonna pick one. So I'm gonna play each answer for you and then we'll see which one you pick at the end. Let's do it. And you gotta be honest with you. Like, All right, All right, first girl. Ready? Ready. What's up? My name is Allison. Sometimes Ali, sometimes Alo, or you can just call me Al. I am a producer and a writer in the entertainment industry. Okay, so that's Allison. Okay, Alo. Alo. <laughs> this is Madison. Let's do it. What is up, Teletalkers? My name is Madison. I'm 25 years old. North Carolina. I am a full-time marketing coordinator and a part-time freelance makeup artist. That's Madison. Okay, Maddie, NC. And Kaya. Okay. Hi, my name is Kaya. I work for a music distribution company. Alrighty, so first question. What's up? So you'll hear you'll hear them state their answers. Mm, okay. So back to Allison. Mm, if I could describe my sex life in a movie title, um, it'd be Home Alone? Just kidding. I would say it would be The Never Ending Story. Interpret that how you will. Yeah, The Never Ending Story of <laughs> <laughs> Home Alone, I don't so know. So that was Allison. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, yeah. now we have Madison. There's a lot about their relationship. <laughs> Avengers. Scream. Yeah. Scream. A scream. Scream. Scream like ah, yeah. the knife. What the? F oh boy. She number two is not my choice. I can tell you that right now. And then Kaya. Uh. Um. This is an interesting question. What I would describe my sex life in a movie title. Um. Our first thoughts would be like slow and steady wins the race. Sexual. It's about the motion of the ocean, not about the size of the boat. And I also think like the word receptive. Okay, who do you like so far? So far, I'm, I'm in between one and three, you know. The number three seems like a little too goody-goody for me. So number one, you know, she she got a nice job, you feel me? And, you know, I need a woman that makes some money too. Alright, that's it. Who do you choose? Oh, I definitely choose number one. You choose one? Yeah, number one is crazy. I like that. Number, um... Are you ready to see her? Let's do it. Like, she seems white. Is she white? No, take your black one off. What? Oh, she's Asian. Mm -hmm. Oh. She's cute. Yeah, she's my type. A little weirdo, you know? Alright, so last but not least, I just need you to strip for me. Oh, boy. Alright. Well... So we're gonna put on an outfit. We're gonna put on an outfit. And then see what you're what you can do. Alright. About the builder is back. How we doing? <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, we have the construction outfit and uh, I have my tool belt and in my tool belt we have some measuring tape. 
You know what I'm saying? So what I like to do with the measuring tape is I'll measure my thing in my pants to flirt with the girls and then I'll measure her legs open to see if she could take, you know, the, the, the width of that, but it's just a little fun tool. One time I had like caution tape, I would tie the girl up with caution tape. I had like the cones, I would put the cones like this is a, you know, area. And then you got the hat, you know? So now I'm gonna show you guys a little dance, what I would do. So what I would do is I would get up, I would look at the girl, and then I would look at her, and then I would pop, 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 pop. Then I would do like a, you think she's ready? You think she's ready? I don't think she's ready. And then now we got the, the effect of, Pop that up, right? Boom. Boom. So now that we're here, we already got the chest pop, but we gotta pop it again. Grab the abs, go slow, hold the hat, bring it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Maybe flex a little bit, you know? Grab her hand, let her touch. Ooh. And then, you know, start taking off the clothes a little slowly by slowly. Surely but surely. So now that's all. And then it gets a little more x-rayed after that. Then the pants come off. And then that's when you got a book for the party, all right? Hey! Hey! You know Do you have saying? any questions for me? I actually don't. I'm just like, uh, I think this is dope what you're doing. That's why I did it, you know? I, think I like to show people we got personality. Well, thank you for coming on here. Peace. And we'll see you guys next time on Pillow Talk. Later. Bye!